Okay, so we tried to, we kind of played a little bit of this earlier. Uh, G, current Mayor G.T. Bynum was elected in 2016, decided not to run for a third term. Here are some of his comments on the importance of new city leadership. I think it's important that you have turnover in these jobs and you get different viewpoints. You get new energy and different ideas in every now and then. Uh, and so I'm excited to see who wins these races in November. Okay, so here is our question for both candidates. What parts of Mayor Bynum's administration do you see as successful? And what, if any, policies would you discontinue? Representative Nichols, we start with you for this one. Yeah, thank you for that. And I think, you know, one of the things I've always appreciated about Mayor Bynum uh, is how he has served in some really challenging times. He's done it while being a, being a dad, which I think is uh, really important and, and, and not easy. Uh, but the other thing is something that a lot of folks don't think about, uh, I think, and it was this commitment to bringing data into the conversation about how do we improve the city. I'm talking about the Tulsa Quality Indicators, which he was a Tulsa Quality Indicators, which he was very instrumental in, in getting up and going. And I really appreciate that because I think it's critical for us as we pass the baton from one administration to the other that we have some understanding of where we need to work as a community to get better and to improve. Uh, and so I'll always be appreciative to Mayor Bynum for that uh, and all he's done for, for this community. An area where I think we would be different uh, is actually in how uh, he has handled to this point uh, the relationship with tribes. I think that might be a, a slight uh, diversion between he and I. My goal is to make sure we're working with him every day to get ourselves out of the courtroom and around the table of partnership so we can move Tulsa forward. Uh, and that would be the, the, one, the one big difference between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Keith, your response, please. So I think Mayor Bynum has just done an extraordinary job through some very difficult times. I mean, we stood side by side through the flooding in 2019. We stood side by side uh, through COVID, working on these issues together. But just watching the innovation that he has done for our community, uh, he has built up um, the crime uh, point, what is it called, the uh, crime center, it's real-time crime center, sorry. Uh, and it is, it's an innovative thing for our police department as really could long term help us maybe need fewer officers on the streets. And so one thing I would like to do is make our uh, permitting and inspections department more robust. Developers from across this community, I've been working with them for the past year and they are telling me over and over again that it's too difficult to get their projects out of the ground. It's too costly. It takes too long. So that's something I will be hyper-focused on because it's a domino effect and it's part of the problem that we have with homelessness. So um, I will be hyper-focused on that and I think we can get that solved. 